So who exactly is George Go, the man who is suddenly thrown into the limelight? George Go is the presidential candidate in Singapore. Now, this guy had quite the upbringing. Growing up in a small kampung in Malaysia, he was the seventh of nine children. Life wasn't easy for his family, and they even had to give away two sisters because they couldn't afford to raise them. Things got even tougher when a sibling passed away because they couldn't afford medical help. It's like a tragic episode of the Waltons or something. But here's where the story takes a turn. As a teenager, George wondered if his family would ever escape poverty. So, he decided to make a bold move and came to Singapore in the 1970s in search of work. It's like a classic rags to slightly nicer rags tale. Over the years, he became a Singaporean citizen and built quite a resume for himself as an entrepreneur, philanthropist, diplomat, and youth mentor. Now, George has thrown his hat into the presidential race. He's running as an independent candidate, proudly claiming to have no political baggage. And hey, he's never been affiliated with any political party in the past either. Talk about a fresh face in the race. But let's rewind a bit and delve into George's shoe business. Yes, you heard it right, shoes. This guy went from selling sugarcane juice and collecting used condensed milk tin covers for pocket money to opening a shoe factory with some partners. They even named the company De Classici, cause, you know, they wanted something fancy from France and Italy. I guess they didn't consider shoe mania or kicks galore. Missed opportunity, if you ask me. George didn't stop there. His business expanded to include sporting goods, fashion, luggage, and outdoor products. He's like the Forrest Gump of entrepreneurship, just hopping from one venture to another. But here's where George's story gets even better. To support the underprivileged, he and his wife set up a charity called Border Mission. They're focused on helping the poor in Singapore and the Himalayas. And get this, they provided lightweight trolleys to cardboard collectors so they could collect more recyclable materials and earn more money. Talk about rolling in the right direction. Besides his business and charity work, George is quite the musical maestro. He recently completed his degree in opera and classical music. Who knew that the shoe factory guy had such a hidden talent? Maybe we'll see him performing at the presidential inauguration, belting out some tunes to unite the nation. Oh, and let's not forget that George served as Singapore's non-resident ambassador to Morocco. He even set up a consulate and a chamber of commerce to strengthen ties between the two countries. He's like Singapore's very own international man of diplomacy. So, there you have it, a tale of resilience, business success, philanthropy, and a love for music. George Goh is ready to take on the role of president with his unique background and experiences. It's like a real-life sitcom, where a guy goes from selling sugarcane juice to running for president. Who said politics couldn't be entertaining? <laughs>